Good afternoon, mathematicians. Today we're going to be taking a look at lesson 5.3, estimating sums. The goal of this lesson is I can estimate sums of whole numbers. If you haven't done so already, make sure this is written down in your learning journey. We're going to start with doing some mental math. Do not write this down on your board yet. What you need to do is you need to round both of the numbers in order to get an estimate. For these, you would be rounding to the nearest 10. Go ahead and round each number and then add them. So for the first one, 52 would round to 50 plus 49 would round to 50. So our estimate for this problem is 100. How did we know that I needed to round both of these numbers to 50? The next one, we know 22 rounds to 20, 49 again rounds to 50, so our close estimate is 70. And the final one, 37 would round to 40, and 54 would round to 50, so our estimate in this case would be 90. When we round numbers in the hundreds place, we usually will both round both numbers to the nearest hundreds. This way we are able to add both of the numbers in a snap. If a number can be rounded to a 50, so for example 250, that's okay because we can quickly add those in a snap. Go ahead and round all of these numbers and then add them. 786 would round then to 800. 293 would round to 300. 800 plus 300 is 1,100. 496 would round to 500. 257 would round to 250. So my answer here, my estimate is two, or 750. 865 is closest to 850. 439 is closest to 450. So my rounded estimate here is 1,300. If you had rounded this to 900 plus 400, that also is a close estimate. You would have gotten 1,300 as well. Here again, round it to the nearest hundreds. If it can be easily rounded to a 50 or a 5 in the tens place, you may do that. Go ahead. For this one, we'd round it to 300 plus 150 plus 450 and we get the answer of 900. On the second one, we had rounded to 100 plus 250 plus 350, and then we get the answer of 700. And in the last one, we should have rounded to 600 plus 500 plus 250, and you get the answer of 1,300. There are a couple different ways you may have rounded in this one. You may have rounded this to 650. That could work as well. On the board, we have a problem. We're going to stop here, and one student can read it aloud. You're then going to solve this problem on your board, and then discuss it as a class. Today, you're going to be estimating some distances. You're going to be planning a driving trip. Using the map on page 112, you're going to start at your hometown and plan a driving trip that is going to take you to four other cities. If your hometown is not on the map, find the city that's the closest. So here's what the chart's going to look like. And here's an example of the map. The closest location for us is right here, Chicago. So we're going to actually be writing down that we're gonna start in Chicago, and then you can go to any location that is connected with a line to Chicago. So you could go to Minneapolis next, you could go to Omaha, you could travel any of these three routes as well. I'm going to go to Minneapolis. So on my chart, I'd write Chicago to Minneapolis. Now if I go back to my map, there are two numbers shown here. From Chicago to Minneapolis, I see the number 410. That's how many miles. So that goes next in the chart. I then see the number 745. That's the number of hours and minutes. So going from Chicago to Minnesota, I'm going to drive 410 miles, which is 7 hours and 45 minutes. 
When I round seven hours and 45 minutes to the nearest hour or half hour, it would be eight hours. You're gonna continue this for four locations total, filling in the chart, getting your total amount of time it will take. Today then, you're going to be finishing up that math journal page 112 and 113, planning a driving trip. Then you may play the game Pile, Product Pile Up. If you forgot how to play it, use your reference book. Finally, your math boxes must be completed. There are activity B and activity C's. Make sure if there is a math masters that you need to use that you do that before going on to blind space. Make it a great day.